So let's uh, create this one. We have this uh, chat rooms right now. We go to the chat room screens, but then it's showing, it does not show any information of where we are right now. And um, we need to add a title view over here, a nice looking one, which has the basic profile information of the chat room. And then we let's get, let's do some cleanups. It's looking like a basic screen right now. So let's get started with first things. Mm. One of the thing is that I go to the messaging screen and maybe get rid of this uh, separator lines. I'm keeping, gonna keep it as none. That's enough. And then I'm gonna create a chat room title view right now. Let's so for that, let's go to the chat room messaging and I'm gonna create a new group called control where I'm gonna add something called as chat room title view new file go touch UI view extending of your UI view I'm gonna call it as uh, chat room title view create within chat room messaging because this is very much specific to the chat room messaging view maybe get rid of all these unwanted code it does not have much things it just has going to it's just going to have maybe two labels and a image view i'm going to create a view add it uh, chat room title view include it and then change its properties i'm just going to make it like free form so that i can reduce its size And also going to get rid of uh, the uh, what is that called the safe layout area layout and everything because this is going does not require all that now let me set its background color to transparent clear color that's enough and then I'm gonna add a image view image view this is going to be pretty simple and fast Whatever I'm gonna do right now. Image view of size, I guess 60, 60 or something. It's gonna be 40, 40. Such a small image view. Because it has to fit in within that uh, top section of the uh, the navigation bar. Let's center let's add it to the left alignment and top uh, maybe center it center vertical that's enough and i don't need this much height for this maybe let's reduce this one okay 60 is enough 60 is enough hope so let me check oh, 60 is enough and this can be closer to maybe I can just keep it as zero itself because it can maybe five. Let's see with five. Five is what my this one is. And maybe add a couple of labels which will show it as the label title and the subtitle of that chat room. Chat room title and subtitle. I'm going to include it within a stack view left align that stack view and maybe center it to this one that's enough let's modify this one i need the chat room title font is fine it's black is fine but then i'm gonna change the font which i want instead of the regular one and I, i've been using this arial rounded for all sections maybe what's the size i can give 16 is enough i guess 16 medium 16 is fine so this is also maybe 16 give me give me 16 and this can be a light color with 12 so this can be a light color yeah that's enough and even modify this font 
to maybe aerial regular aerial and uh, regular this can be 12 it's more like the description i can maybe say this as the title and this as the details so now we can include this within the view the outlets we need so associate that it's called chat room title view association has happened this has to be it can with it's with, residing within chat room messaging so it can remain there um let's include these outlets title label ah sorry this is not label this is an image get rid of that outlet this is going to be the profile image view the chat room profile image view profile image view avatar image view we can even call it then this is going to be the title label and this we can call it as a subtitle label maybe subtitle label enough those three and one more which we need is to get the reference of this view which will be used to actually create the whole sub uh, the custom view so i can call this as the container view so i'm just going to reuse something which i had been using in all the episodes so most probably i'm going to grab that part this is going to be the basic override functions required and the setup functions which i had been using in all creation like this custom control needs uh, uh, needs this in it with the frame which is i have overridden and it will it is going to use a setup function where it is nothing but having the bundle details of the uh, the load which nib which needs to load and where it needs to add the container view is what it's going to use adding adding that as a sub view auto resizing mask for the constraints and it also needs the coder part so this is the basic information it needs i just use that to create a sub subclass i mean the custom class so that's done so we have all these information required now i can have a configure function as well which will be used to configure this control and it's going to use a view model so i'm going to include that view model as well i'm going to call it chat room title view model chat room title view model chat room title view model basic information required to configure this control that's what it has nothing more i'm going to even grab that because it's again going to be a simple one it's going to be something like this very simple just to configure uh, id what is the I chat room id with, with, for which we are configuring title subtitle of that image anyway we don't have yet so i'm just going to keep it as something which is already there something like we already have in the assets uh, ic group this is what i'm going to use as the uh, chat room title image view so let me configure it using this using view model view model is a chat room title view model and i can just now start configuring itself first thing image view let's image you can set it to the image i told you it's ic group is something i have i see and i see dash group is an image i'm going to use for that title and then the title and subtitle text is going to be the view models text which whatever i'm going to pass from the view uh, the presenter so id it can accept uh, it, it can right now it does not necessarily need this info but maybe i can maybe instantiate that if i'm passing the view model is going to carry that so i can use this i don't need this id in this one so title but just just as a reference if th this needs to navigate from this title i need more information screen or something if i navigate at least i have this id from there which i can use maybe or even i can get it from the presenter not a big issue but then yeah i'm just keeping an id there text equals view model dot details or it's called subtitle subtitle that's enough to configure this so this configuration is going to get called from the presenter because we need to add this control right now 
to the presenter because we are going to use the uh, navigation controllers uh, title view as this view that's a change so for that we what is that we need to configure this we already have the chat room i can use the chat room to configure this so i'm going to create an extension i guess uh, a simple extension to actually configure this uh, control chat room title view model so i let that remain within this uh, presenter of chat room messaging i'm going to create an extension called uh, chat room title view model for init i'm just going to use the using model using chat room maybe i can just call it as chat room chat room uh, model i'm going to use this to configure chat room dot chat room has an id i'm going to use that self dot uh, title is going to be the chat room style name i guess the name is enough and the subtitle is going to be the subject chat room dot subtitle is the subject of that chat room so that's enough this is uh, enough to actually configure my control so i can now use pass this through the output to configure so for output let's go to the presenter i'm going to create oh i think that's what i have done so i'm just going to call title i'm going to call it as title within the output just saying title and it's going to be a driver of this title view model so for driver i need to include rx and all that so let's go bring all the dependencies required for this view so this is going to have uh, even table view so i i need all of that dependency rx uh, i'm going to use rx coco i'm going to use rx data source because that's going to bind my table view for the chatting i'm going to use rx relay and rx with all this bringing in and then now i have it i can include uh, import everything i'm going to start with rx swift and rx coco import that and then i can pass that uh, title view model which i created through this now it will ask me to configure it from here and it is pretty as simple as first outlet uh, first output which you are passing is the title which is nothing but a driver dot i can just say a just uh, title view model and this title view model can be configured using a chat room which is available through the dependency so for i need to pass this is a change i'm going to do within the output function which we have i'm going to pass the dependencies so this dependency has me now the chat room which we had passed and it can it can, it cannot have one value for this so this is again asking me for to pass the dependencies over here and then sees it's enough so output function has now the dependencies uh, value of dependencies what is wrong dependencies is dependencies static function cannot convert value of type dependencies to expected argument type presenter dot dependencies uh, okay problem is I need to grab all of the, let's keep all of these here and then I can just pass um, I should be passing dependencies enough so now this is available in my view controller so view controller setup UI is where I'm going to maybe I'm, I'm gonna bind it over here within the view controller uh, all that I need to do is uh, I already have the chat room title view created within the binding I'm gonna say presenter dot output dot uh, title which we pass right now I can just say a map and then uh, I can say vixelf in bring that title view which we created the title view which we create chat to chat room title view which has a configure i'm just gonna say frame can be zero because it can auto align with the uh, uh, auto adjust with whatever view where, where we are adding it and then i can configure 
using the view model which we received through this uh, presenter dot output dot map dollar zero this is coming from the presenter that value i accept it's configured now configuration is done all that now we need to do is to set this title view as the uh, you can just say return title view and uh, chat room title view mapping that uh, okay maybe i can configure it here itself title view is configured all that i need to now do is self dot navigation controller navigation item of this view set its title view as this newly created title view title view enough let's add uh, import rx swift import rx coco and let's add a dispose bag private let dispose bag equals dispose bag i'm gonna call it just bag dispose bag and i'm gonna just drive this now drive dispose by bag i think you should be enough this should actually now show you that title view which i had created it's already called here so let's run see what whether it shows a title view right now loads this tab to you it gives you a title view over here title view and uh, i guess that's what i wanted to show in this one it's it sh even showing ipl chat room totally for all ipl discussions then this one so it looks like the same thing where you see in whatsapp and all the title view with information about that chat room on top of it maybe at a later point we can use this to take it to a detailed screen where it shows all the chat room information along with all the participants available in that chat room so we are already in this chat room right now and then one more thing we need to do is to remove this uh, large title for this chat room let's also do that so let's bring in that one as well so within the builder all that we now need to say is where do i call it i think it's within the router before this gets routed uh, we need to set a title and a, and prefer navigation title bar prefer title as well so two things we are going to do uh, one is within uh, the where wherever it is getting navigated from within this router um, i go to this is where it is routing right routing to message before routing i'm gonna say self dot view controller dot navigation controllers navigation bar prefer large title i'm just saying no false also i'm going to set the title of the view controller to nothing so that that back and all is not shown so this is enough i guess now this episode is getting over concluding yeah it it has only the small title right now and even the there if even if this section is small it's not going to show this there is a back rooms or something was being shown I'm ju i just gotten rid of that now so this is now a perfect looking chat room now in the next episode we are going to add uh, we're going to get rid of this to bottom uh, tab bars and then we're going to add a uh, the composer view which is having some validation and all stuff like if you want to send a text message to start with we need a composer view and we are after that that is done we are going to fetch all the existing message for this chat room and then populate that here there are lots of messages which i had used for testing you might also start looking at how to create a new chat room and then uh, send and receive messages all that is coming up in a bit uh, so let's get on with the next episode